5 T's of cholera Type Infection with bacteria Vibrio cholerae is responsible for causing the illness cholera. The infection is often mild or asymptomatic, but about 5 to 10% of infections are severe and can be life-threatening. Early signs and symptoms of severe cholera include vomiting and profuse watery diarrhea, sometimes described as rice water stools. This causes significant dehydration, which can present as rapid heart rate, thirst, muscle cramps, and restlessness or irritability. If left untreated, this severe dehydration can rapidly lead to shock and death within hours. Outbreaks of cholera can occur anywhere, but are most likely to be found and spread in crowded places with inadequate water treatment, poor sanitation, and inadequate hygiene. Transmission route. Cholera is transmitted via the fecal oral route by ingesting food and water that is contaminated either through poor personal hygiene or by sewage water entering the food chain. Treatment and prevention. Restoring lost fluids and salts through rehydration therapy is the primary goal of treatment. In addition to this, for severe cholera, antibiotic therapy will reduce fluid requirements and the duration of illness. Zinc supplements have also been shown to help reduce symptoms and duration of illness in children under 5. An inactivated oral vaccination for cholera is licensed in the UK and Ireland and can be recommended for those whose activities or medical history puts them at increased risk. The course is two or three doses depending on age. To try to prevent infection from all food and waterborne diseases, all travellers should practice good personal hygiene including hand washing, water purification where necessary and good food hygiene. Travellers risk most travellers are at very low risk of contracting cholera. The travellers who are at increased risk are those going to areas of cholera outbreaks who have limited access to safe water and medical care, or those travelling for humanitarian work. Take home message. Cholera is a bacterial, diarrheal illness which can be very severe and if left untreated can be fatal. Transmission is usually through contaminated water in crowded environments and where sanitation is poor. Treatment is with fluids and antibiotics. A vaccine is available and standard hygiene precautions are advised. All travellers should practice good personal hygiene including hand washing, water purification where necessary and good food hygiene. Travelling to areas with poor sanitation during outbreaks or crowded areas such as refugee camps put the traveller at the highest risk.